Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, My So-Called Healthy Life. And I am reading meditations every day on my channel right now to just kind of get your day started, you know, like, or stop your day and like say like, well, let's see what's going on. And maybe I just need to take a breath of fresh air, read a little meditation, practice calmness, practice patience, get your day restarted. So anyway, um, what I would really eventually like to do is like film these all in advance because they're only like three or four minutes long and then have them up in the morning so that people can read them as soon as they get up in the morning and all that kind of stuff. Um, but today, now tomorrow, you know if you've been keeping up, tomorrow we are going to start reading through every day, um, Pieces Every Step, The Path of Mindfulness and Everyday Living by Thich Nhat Hanh. Um, I read this years and years ago. I haven't read it since, but I can remember that it profoundly impacted my life when I read it. As far as, you know, practicing, staying in the present moment and enjoying life and, you know, realizing how short life is and staying in the moment and um, practicing, you know, present mindfulness. And since I'm such a preacher of that anyway on my channels, I thought, well, we should do this and I want to reread it anyway. So um, that's probably one thing that I will continue to do on this channel because I just think it's fun is to read through these books that I love. You know, next we're going to do Stephen Levine's A Year to Live, which I've actually never read all the way through. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, I think after that, I'm going to do um, If Life Were a Game, These Are the Rules. It's a book that I've given to clients for years and years and years um, uh, by Dr. Sheree Scott. I love that book so much. Um, it really impacted me as well. And, it, and these are all very short books. So they're all listed underneath here. Go check them out. Get them at your library. Go to Half Price Books, the thrift store, Amazon, whatever. So anyway, but today we're going to read the meditation from the Daily Book of Positive Quotations. And it's really starting to become a little weird in my life. I mean, my life has been weird for 44 years because I'm 44 years old. But, um, and I like to think of myself as a weirdo in a positive way. But it's interesting how, like, always for years, whenever I pick up these meditation books, they always kind of speak to exactly what is going on in my life at that moment, which I think is... I don't know. It's poignant in how I think the universe works. I like to look at it that way. You know, I mean, here's my thing, right? And have your gig, don't have your gig, be a spiritual person, don't be a spiritual person. I look, listen, I support you 100% and whatever. I mean, that's, we have the right to believe in what we want to believe in, right? But I don't understand why you wouldn't just want life to be a little bit more magical. No matter what that something was, you know, to have some meaning to the things that happen in our lives. So for me, you know, it's like I love things like synchronicity because I think there are lessons in disguise. And um, today's was interesting. So it's victory and defeat. More people are ruined by victory, I imagine, than by defeat. Eleanor Roosevelt. Bad losers are hard to take, but not nearly as hard to take as bad winners. If we assume that we are somehow better than everyone else, and more deserving of victory. We can turn victory into disaster. Maybe we did pay our dues and work hard, but there is always some luck in every victory. And for all we know, our opponents worked even harder than we did. Remember this, defeat has a way of focusing thought and motivation. If we don't learn from our victories as much as we learn from our defeats, we may not, we may not be so lucky next time. And the thought for today is, I like to win and it's okay to celebrate when I do, but I must remember that winning doesn't make me better than others. You know, it's so interesting. Um, I love that. You know, I love that just in life because um, I remember when I was like in high school, well, up till my sophomore year in high school, I played competitive tennis. And I like to think I was pretty good. I mean, like that was like the only thing sport I ever played from like four years old on. And, um my dad and my mom were like very strict about good sportsmanship. And um, I can remember it was like, I was playing for the high school team my sophomore year, which I ended up hating. Um, but like I threw my racket and my dad came up to me. He walked onto the court and he, and I, I never threw my racket. And my dad walked onto court and he said, default the game or fault the game. And I go, what are you talking about? And he was like, fault the game. You, you just, you just quit the game. And I remember I had to go up there and shake this guy's hand and be and give the game up. And they every like the coach and everybody were so shitty with me. And my dad's like, I did not teach you to be a bad to be a bad sportsman. You don't do you don't act that way. You don't cheer and shout and all that kind of stuff, you know? And I think what's really interesting is that like in our society, 
the world has really become this good victory versus bad victory. I think we even saw it in this past election with a lot of comments that were said on social media and things like that. And it's like, you know, I am really, I think it's really honorable when you see somebody that wins an award and all this kind of stuff. Now, pride, I think, is one thing. I like when somebody says, I worked very hard for this. I'm proud of it. I don't like when they go, oh, not me. What? I didn't deserve it. You know, you spent four years writing a book and you won the Pulitzer. You went, you deserve it. Okay. Take a little bit of honor for it. Right. But you don't have to be rude about it. And I think humility is truly a gift. And I think it's something that we have to work towards. And I think that that's what this is um, talking about in there. And, you know, it's interesting because I know some people and that like to just shove in my face how great they think they are. And, um... That's, gr that's great, but you have to always remember, and I learned this many years ago, that as you walk up, there are people's shoulders that you're standing on, and when you fall down, they'll be right there looking for you to see you fall. And I hope that they treat you kinder than you did when you were walking on their shoulders on the way up. Because isn't that what life is all about, just being a kinder, nicer person? Like, seriously? I mean, it's just so much easier. Um, but the lessons that I have learned in my life, true story, have not come from winning. They've come from losing. And I think... That says a lot. So anyway, I hope you guys relate to this a little bit. I hope that you can do something with that tomorrow. We're going to start pieces. Peace, and ev peace is every step, if I can pronounce it right. So anyway, um, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.